did. And Jesus. again. Enough. Like, like, a, like a fly. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Look at her hanging on. She's not letting go. I think Malonis is a little annoyed, annoyed at this point. Uh-oh. He's broken the hold. Oh, God. Oh. Danger Kid. Everybody wants to know what's going on with me and Danger Kid. How about what's going on with Aiden Agro? Let's put that, let's put that on the shelf right now. You know what? Coming up in Lowell, another door is opening up for Aiden Agro. The New England title, a number one contendership match. Beat the clock challenge? <laughs> you wanna talk about a challenge? Aiden Agro is there to answer that challenge. So you know what? Come low, beat the clock challenge, all aggro. Chaotic wrestling fans, you are cordially invited to the wedding of retrosexual Anthony Green and the Platinum Honeys as we join together in holy retrimony. See you on Elevated. The following contest, scheduled for one fall, is for the Chaotic Wrestling Tag Team Championships. Introducing first, the challengers. In the corner to my right, they are accompanied to ringside by the newest member of that Kilanova culture, the Chaotic Wrestling Women's Champion, the Boricua Badass, Tasha Steeles. She represents at a total combined weight of 461 pounds, the team of Royce Bishop and the OG of New England, Tripolicious. They are Kilanova Incorporated. Their opponents in the corner to my left, defending their titles tonight after an impressive over seven month reign. Hailing from Bear Mountain, New York, at a total combined weight of 573 pounds, 
Bear Bronson, Bear Beefcake, the current reigning and defending Chaotic Wrestling Tag Team Champions, Bear Country! Tag team titles on the line. Bear Country defending against Killanova Incorporated. Royce Bishop and Tripolicious. No Christian Casanova ringside. Instead, the newest member of Killanova, the women's champion, Tasha Steeles. And the bell hasn't even rung yet. All four men in the ring. This is not tornado style. No, it is not, but this is standard Killanova Inc. Attack your opponents from behind. Use any weapons. Be, you know, gain them in numbers. And I, I know you said Christian Casanova's not here, but I'm never going to count him out. There is always a chance that he can come through that curtain and involve himself in this match. The women's champion, Tasha Steeles, shockingly joining that Killanova culture Recently at the Chaotic Countdown, nobody saw it coming. Just when I thought we could have a champion that we could respect in the women's division, Tasha Steeles turns her back, takes the paycheck, and falls along with Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Oh. Royce Bishop chopped to the chest by Bear Bronson as Beefcake takes Triple Issues throat first over the guardrail. We had uh, one man from each team in the ring, and that's when Rich Bass called for the bell. But the match has not gone back into the ring since. No, it has not. So this is right now an unsanctioned fight. This is not part of the match. This is just the damage before the actual wrestling event. Yeah, I mean, the, the uh, Bass called for the bell, but I mean, we <laughs> if they never get back in the ring, I mean, the Bears are going to continue their reign as tag team champions. To be fair, they poked the bear, and that's what got them riled up, and now they are, now they're, uh, falling victim to the Bear Country offense, but Bronson mistimed his splash on Royce Bishop, smashed his head against the pole, and I don't think Beefcake's aware of it yet. And Bear Beefcake's going up to the top rope despite the 240 pound Royce Bishop holding his foot. Triple has tried to interfere from the outside as well. We oh, go. God! Hardest part of the ring. Back first, hardest part of the ring goes Beefcake. My back is suddenly in pain. Oh. After watching that. Wow. That, keep in mind, Beefcake is not a small guy. He is a, he's a heavy dude. And for him to make that crash landing from the top rope is, wow. I swear, wrestling's changed so much. It really has. Like, guys the size of, you know, giants are now diving like, they're 160 pounds. Yeah, Bear Bronson's 270 pounds. He's not supposed to fly like that. No, he's not. Physics proved that that shouldn't happen. <laughs> so this guy's defying physics. Over seven months as champions. Bear Country winning the tag team championship from the Maine State Posse at breaking point. November of 2018 at the site of this year's Summer Chaos. You see Tasha Steele slap Bear Bronson. We already established earlier equal rights, it's equal fight. Yeah. I, I, I wouldn't, wouldn't exactly slap one of the Bear Country in the face. Oh, that's a lucky man. No way, I didn't even see Mike. That came out of the trap house right there. Royce Bishop. Oh, and there goes a the security guard at ringside. But you're 100% right. Bear Country holding that for seven months is not an easy feat, especially in the tag division. That's a game of numbers. And so I think one of the only other tag teams I know of that's been able to do that was the Logan Brothers. Yeah. You know what I mean? So to have another tag team after so long coming to Cat Wrestling, be able to hold these championships for that long is ultra impressive. Bronson and Beefcake have been dominant champions for some time now. And this is the uh, first time they've met Bishop and Tripolicious. Don't forget Tripolicious, former tag team champion alongside our current heavyweight champion. 
that of course being top talent Christian Casanova. They did hold the tag team titles. Bishop yet to taste any championships here at Chaotic Wrestling. But this youngster is, uh, he's, he's serious, man. He is a tough competitor. And it's going to make him twice as hungry because Royce Bishop wants to know what it's like to hold one of those championships around their waist. Now, can you imagine if Killanova Inc., okay, Tripolicious, Royce Bishop, take the tag team championships away from the, uh, the Bear Country? Can you imagine if they take that away? Now you have Killanova Inc. holding the heavyweight championship, the women's championship, the tag team championships. They're going to be an ultimate faction. Probably one of the best we've seen. It'll be a complete monopoly of all the Chaotic Wrestling Championships and in a very, very short amount of time. But that's easier said than done as Killanova has to get the job done against the dominant Bear Country. 573 pounds combined. Those are two big bears. Nobody's been able to stop Bear Country. Hard to. Those guys are strong. And, you know, they're big and they're tough and they're fast and athletic. It's just, it's really, really hard to, you know, keep them down for a three count. You gotta wonder, is Tasha Steele's have her head in the game here as she was just informed right at the outset here. She's gonna have another rematch with Chris Statlander, who's quickly becoming the it girl in pro wrestling. Chris Statlander is getting another shot at Tasha Steele's women's title in a ladder match coming up in lower. And Statlander, like you said, is becoming the it factor right now in chaotic wrestling and wrestling in general. And now she's making waves to the point where the championship committee has given her a shot once again, but in a ladder match. Which should prove it to be a fair fight, but you never know. Because there's no rules in a ladder match, there is always a chance that Killanova Inc. is going to have their fingers in the mashed potato. They've got their fingers on the pulse of everything happening here in Chaotic Wrestling. Christian Casanova, our heavyweight champion, won the title right in this very building three months ago. Nobody's been able to stop him. Tasha Steeles. Ironically enough, won that women's championship on the same night that Bear Country won their tag team titles. Back at breaking point last November. She's been a dominant champion and she's already turned back the challenge of Chris Statlander on two separate occasions. That she has. One a little cheaper than one the other, but I think one was a roll up, the other one was a chain. Yeah. It was a very controversial rematch, so that's what leads us to the ladder match. Belt will hang above the ring. Two ladies are going to have to climb a ladder. The person who is able to survive and build up the strength to get that championship will be the champ. Tags made on either side. In comes Bear Beefcake as he throws Bishop into Tripolicious. It's a 300 pound splash. Whip into the corner. Huge back body drop. Oh, how's your butthole? <laughs> From that height. I'm gonna guess not too good right now. Nope, my lower back is screaming. And Beefcake hopefully not taking too long as Bishop is in a lot of pain in that corner. And just got the boot up. What is it with the stalling tonight? I, I don't know, everyone's in pander mode. You can't pander, especially when championships are on the line. That was a good gut wrench powerbomb. Two and Whoa! Oh, man. That was close. Very close. Royce uh, took, took a second to wake up. Bishop, uh, the cadence felt like it was gonna go to three, but it was like 3.99. <laughs> that was, or 2.99. Yes. I can count with I'm picking I up promise. what you're putting down, I got it. I, I finished high school. <laughs> and now we're gonna see the elevator going up here. We've seen this numerous times. Well, that we have. Bronson some 10 or 12 feet in the air on the shoulders. Oh no! Oh, no! Well scouted by the challengers. Tripolicious springboards off Bronson with a drop kick. Big forearm from Bishop. Here he comes again with the elbow. Good pump kick. Wow. Oh, great yeah. German suplex. That's by Tripolicious. Goes for the pin. Oh no. Wow. And only two again as Bronson just broke up the pin attempt as only Bear Country will. 
and now all four competitors down on the canvas. This match for the tag team titles. Will Killinover Incorporated be able to put it together? Tasha Steele screaming at ringside. Tasha Steele's trying to wake up her partners right now, trying to get them back on their game, back on their feet, and trying to stay on top of Bear Country because we've stayed before and we'll stay it again. These guys are some big fellas. And the reason why they're able to keep their championships is not only are they resilient, but they're, I'm gonna say it, excuse my language, brick shit houses. <laughs> well said. As Bronson now wearing out both Tripolicious and Royce Bishop, you can feel the momentum changing. And Bronson basically doing all the work, giving Beefcake oh. a chance to recover. Ooh, and a knee right to the face by Bishop. I saw that elbow there. Up on the shoulders again. Oh, Death Valley driver by Bear Bronson. Falling Beefcake over. Tripolicious over in the corner. What's he doing? We're gonna go for elevator number two. I think so, out of the opposite corner this time. Bronson forgave him. Forgave Beefcake for the first mess up. And Bronson way up high. What is Tripolicious doing? I have no idea. Big splash. Tripolicious out of the corner. Oh! Oh! Leg drop across the back of the head of Bronson. Breaks up the pin. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, Bishop, the legal man in the ring. I, I, I believe so. I'm, I'm to be honest, I lost control. So if I've lost control, Rich Bass must be struggling. I believe Beefcake, the other legal man. Oh! And Bishop ducks the clothesline. Tripolicious, not so fortunate. As he grabs the boot, drops it down. And now Beefcake puts Royce Bishop up on the shoulders. Look out for Tripolicious! That's some power right there. Yeah, it is. Oh, down goes referee Rich Bass. Bass down on the canvas. Oh, man. Wow. Triple H right to the outside. Bishop taking the brunt of that. Triple H to the outside. No referee to count the pin. Rich Bass favoring his back. Had him pinned for eight or nine there. They had him down. This, uh, is, this is where mishaps happen. This is where things can go wrong. I don't know if it's in camera range, but Tasha Steeles has a chain wrapped around her fist. Oh, I didn't see that. I just caught it out of the game. There she is up on the apron, calling Beefcake over. And the Boricua badass, the women's champion, Tasha Steeles, laying the bad mouth on Beefcake. <laughs> he just <laughs> blocked that shot. Wait a minute, Bishop's got a chain of his own Whoa. and misses. See that throw? Tripolicious has Whoa. it. Oh! Right in the back of the head and a huge shot. The two chain. Yeah. Two chain. Oh, oh no. no. A, a concerto with two chains. No, no, not like this. One. Please don't end this reign. No, come Please on. Please don't end this reign. What's up with the double oh, pin? No. I can't believe what I just saw. Here are your winners and new Chaotic Wrestling Tag Team Champions, Royce Bishop, Tripolicious, Killa Nova Incorporated. You know when you have a nightmare and then you wake up and you find out that nightmare came into reality? That's literally what just happened. Killanova Inc. now holds every Chaotic Wrestling Championship that we have that we have under our, our, our roof. I'm, I'm lost. Yeah, no, you and you predicted that earlier. You said if they were able to do it, and they did. And there you see the women's champion Tasha Steele. Tasha Steele's holding up the hands of the new tag team champions, Royce Bishop and Tripolicious. Tripolicious' second reign as tag team champion here in Chaotic, and I can't believe nearly seven and a half months as champions, and Bear Country has been defeated. It's all about the culture. It really is at this point. I mean, I'm gonna have to start buying the merchandise. If you see me next show with a chain and a you know flat brim cap and some sunglasses, can't blame me at this point. I mean, 
These guys must be paying well. And they're clearly a hell of a team because Royce Bishop now has his first championship ever. History has been made, ladies and gentlemen. Their country has been defeated. And Tripolicious and Royce Bishop, Killanova Incorporated, have captured the Chaotic Wrestling Tag Team titles. They use chains. I'm not too crazy about that double pin. No. I, 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 I've i got some questions for Rich Bass. Either way, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll defend it in this, this sense. If you remove one person from there, Beefcake took not one, not two, but three punches to the mouth with a chain attached to his fist. Okay? With a chain attached to his fist. And so for Bear Beefcake to be able to get up after that, whether there's one person or two people pinning him, would have been superhuman. So I don't know if the double pin necessarily gave them the victory, but it definitely shouldn't have been counted either way. It's a valid point. There was a lot of weapon we used. Rich Bass, unfortunately, got knocked down of the canvas. You gotta remember, at that time, Bear Beefcake was holding over 450 pounds of the then challengers, yeah. Tripolicious and Royce Bishop, in his arms. Swung them around as we've seen so many times before. Unfortunately, knocked down referee Rich Bass. Beefcake taking the pin. And Bear Country, seven plus months as tag team champions, coming to an abrupt halt right here in Woburn, Massachusetts. Unbelievable. We will be back with more chaotic wrestling in just a moment. I have a chance at the Chaotic Wrestling New England title, and I'm part of the Beat the Clock Challenge. And because I'm the dad of Chaotic Wrestling, I know how to beat the clock and put the kid to bed early. I know how to beat the clock so I can grill my steak. I know how to beat the clock so I can have my beer, skip traffic, enjoy myself. And I'm gonna beat the clock and be quicker than everybody else so that the king of dad style, the man who runs the Dattitude Era, woo, is gonna go for that New England title one more time. Lisa Lini here. I want to see if I can get a word with former Chaotic Tag Team Champions Bear Country. Hey guys, I just wanted to see if I could ask a couple questions. Lisa, I know you're just trying to do your job, but just get the hell away from us now. All right, triple threat match. We've got the, oh, Brawler Malonis has grabbed the title belt away from Christian Casanova. And he holds it high above his head. Malonis, everybody looking for that elusive fourth. There's a very exclusive club of gentlemen that have held the Chaotic Wrestling Heavyweight title on three separate occasions. We have never had a four-time champion. Nope, and right now, that's a possibility. Yeah, Malonis hasn't held that title over six years, or almost six years. 
2013. Well, Lawrence used to like run the gauntlet. Like he ran through everyone. He used to hold that championship. Right. Like that's all I remember was Brian Lawrence holding the championship. So it's, it's weird to think that that's been that long since that belt's been around his waist. Three separate occasions. This match is a triple threat match, which means Malonis could pin JT Dunn and walk out of here as the new heavyweight champion. Did you see that Brian Malonis yanked that title right out of the hands <laughs> of Christian Casanova? That could be a sign of things to come. I mean, he realistically could yank that title right out of his hands and possess it for the fourth time. Absolutely. Casanova reluctantly handing the title over to referee Kevin Quinn. Casanova working really hard for that championship. I'd be reluctant to let something go that I literally kept my nose to the grindstone for a long period of time. I've made, I've, I've built a, a career chasing this thing. I finally have it. I wouldn't want to let it go either. Yeah, absolutely. It's triple threat. JT Dunn getting another opportunity to regain the title that he lost right in this very building back on March the 29th, if memory serves me correctly. The fighting champion that JT Dunn is, the guy is like the definition of resilience. He is a striker among strikers, like beyond, he's the king of strike. And he, I mean, we've seen him do it all. JT Dunn absolutely could regain this championship. Ryan Walters could absolutely regain this championship. This is this is anyone's game. <laughs> and Malonis. Oh, <laughs> as Dunn and Casanova were having words, Malonis kind of felt a little slighted here. <laughs> JT going to do a couple of push-ups here, a couple of warm-ups. I dare say the combined weight of Christian Casanova and JT Dunn doesn't even match the 395 pounds of uh, the former kingpin, now brawler Malonis. This is what's special about a multi-man match and a triple threat match. Christian Casanova doesn't have to be involved in this match beginning to end if he doesn't want to. He just has to make sure that he is covering one of these gentlemen for a three count to retain his title. <laughs> And Tasha Steele's getting in the face of JT Dunn outside the ring as Malonis just starting to pound away nearly 400 pounds of brawler Malonis from the bar now. Oh my God! <laughs> oh, 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 oh no. Uh, Look like a car wreck. Malonis and his partner, the Beer City Bruiser, currently number one contenders for the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championship. Imagine maybe the next time we see Brian Malonis, he's one half of the oh. ROH Tag Champs. That would be something. And Tasha Steele's grabbing the leg of JT Dunn. Malonis can't be bothered. JT's trying to be nice about it. He's trying to get rid of her. She's like a pit bull. She really is. Wow. Christian Casanova was able to go for the head of the beast and knock him down to his feet, or knock him down on his butt. Now he's stomping a mud hole. He's a desperate man, is Christian Casanova, because Malonis and Dunn, while nowhere near being friends, they, uh, they, they, they may just want to start to uh, formulate some kind of plan because Casanova's got to defeat two men. They do, they share a common interest. Yeah. Brian Malonis and JT Dunn, and that is that no one in this building, including the two opponents of Christian Casanova, like Killanova Inc. as a whole. And now, Killanova Inc. is holding every championship that Catholic Wrestling has to offer. Has to offer, and wow, Ooh, great. But I mean, I mean, Casanova doesn't have to defeat Dunn and Malonis. He's not. But he's got, you, you talk about the proverbial target on somebody. My God, it's right there in front of two challengers tonight. Definitely the toughest challenge of Christian Casanova's three month title reign. Uh, in fact, he's got different styles too. You know, he's got he's a beast live man who's one hell of a striker, but also a great wrestler and a great power wrestler is Brian Malonis. And then on the other hand, you have someone quick, equally quick as you, but can strike 
like an MMA fighter as JT Dunn. It's just, it's contrasting styles. Whoa! Oh, 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 man. Swing mode, that take you back to your uh, campaigning days? Yes, it does. <laughs> I've been under that. <laughs> Talk about knocking the wind out of you. But uh, yeah, Christian has two very different styles that he has to defend his championship against. Two former champions. Wait a minute. Look at Tasha Steele's protecting Christian Casanova. Wow. I mean, that's a ride or die right there. That sure is. She was willing to literally like take the weight of, Chris, of uh, Brian Malone Oof. just to save their leader, the heavyweight champion, Christian Casanova. Oh, and a low blow by Tasha Steele's, of course, triple threat match, you know, very uh, relaxed rules. They don't have any rules. They, no, they have rules, but there's no disqualification because it's it's just unfair that someone can cause a disqualification for JT Nemo. JT has literally had zero control of it. So there's almost no disqualifications. Realistically, a weapon could be used. Yeah. A low blow can happen blatantly in front of the ref. Because one can't cause, you know, it's just, it's just, it's just not fair. It, of course. Think of the math of how you can make that ruling. I mean, you can cause an elimination. If it was elimination style, you could. It's not. It's one pin take all. Casanova stomping away on Brian Malonis. So Kevin Quinn's got his hands tied here in this match. Tasha Steeles, who was already a contributing factor, will give her an assist in the fact that, that Royce Bishop and Tripolicious have captured the tag team titles from Bear Country. Swift elbow. Likes the outside. Oh, oh, kick to the back of the head. Hold on. Oh, man. Rushed him. Right across the throat. JT's down two. And only a count of two. Look at guillotine. Taking the head off. JT Dunn is swinging over. Oh, uh, Casanova now. Here we go again. What did you call it? Pandering? I mean, I call it just. At this point, he's just taunting the crowd. He's trying to praise himself. Because now he's got two former champions on their back. I just, I just call it straight out wasting time. It that, is. I mean, that's what you're doing. I mean, you know, it, it, you got a shot to reach. You, you have two challengers. Look what's going on over there. Did you see that? Tasha Steele's getting involved again. She already nut shot at the kingpin. She's like a little ankle biter. <laughs> Casanova, man, he just got hurled into those buckles. And JT Dunn has been a man on a mission since losing the title. He's had an opportunity. That he has. He's had an opportunity, and tonight, he's in a triple threat match, and here comes the kingpin. Here comes Brawler Malonis. This is gonna be a standard power. Oh, oh shot for Casanova. And look out. Oh. oh. Knees to the back of Christian Casanova. What a guy, Christian protecting Brian Malonis. <laughs> Count of two. <laughs> Count of two. And JT Dunn now getting those fans behind him as Tasha Steeles getting a little worked up there at ringside. Uh, nice of the women's champion to join us here tonight, not defend her title. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad she's here, not defending her championship, causing a ruckus, causing issues in almost every championship match tonight. Yeah, actually, every championship match tonight. Yeah. So. I mean, it's not really a contributing factor. We're glad she's here. I just wish she had more to offer. Oh, not many people do a reverse suplex like that. Now, JT does a lot of unique moves, and I look at this match, and I think about JT defeating Christian Casanova three separate occasions before losing the title here on March the 29th, right here in this building here in Woburn. The first event after Cole Fury. And that's uh, the fateful night when JT Dunn's over one year title reign came to an end. At first you don't succeed, you keep on trying until you do. That's exactly what Christian Casanova did. And oh, Jesus. again. Enough. Like, like, a, like a fly. Oh. <laughs> Look at her hanging on. She's not letting go. I think Malonis is a little annoyed at this point. 
Uh-oh, he's broken the hold. Oh, God! Oh. <laughs> the kingpin. Nearly 400 pounds. Tasha Steele's got to weigh what? Maybe 85, 90 pounds? Oh. That's like four Brian Malonas. I mean, that's four Tasha Steeles looking at the women's champion. Oh, no. Ah, this can't be good for business. Malone is just waiting for her to get into position. Oh, JT calls for it, misses it. Oh! The old car cutter. He went to, he went to catch Brian Malone in the back of the head. Lung blower by Casanova, the champion now, with that scissor kick. Grabs that big leg and only gets two. Only grabs two. As the kingpin, the brawler, down on the canvas. And Christian Casanova tonight making his fifth title defense. And now has the women's title in his hand. Oh, because we have the heavyweight championship over here. He has now another weapon. I bet there's a chain out there too. I'm telling you, this guy has a plan after plan after plan. That's the one thing you have to commend Christian Casanova for is that this guy has plan A, plan B, plan C, plan D. I'm pretty sure he goes through the entire alphabet. Yeah, there's a plan for every plan that may not work. Yeah. And don't forget, just because Tasha Steele's at ringside, don't think that Tripolicious and Royce Bishop are nowhere to be found. These four are as thick as thieves. Absolutely. And right now they hold... Well, I guess they don't hold every title we have to offer because they don't have the New England title. And Casanova and JT Dunn, by no means are they allies, but they're thinking, okay, if we work collectively, we could take down the 400-pound Malonis. Uh oh Oh, no, death by elbow, the champ! Oh! Malonis just clotheslined through JT Dunn. Oh, my God, the champ is out. The champ is out cold. Tasha Steele's looking a little worse for wear at ringside as Malonis is on the middle rope. Oh my God. Casanova lying. Oh my pro. God. Oh! <laughs> 400 pound leg drop. One, two, and oh, JT Dunn. A desperation tactic pulls Kevin Quinn out of the ring. Not exactly ethical. But it gets the job done. It keeps JT Dunn from losing his opportunity and holding the Catholic Wrestling Heavyweight Championship again. As much as JT Dunn doesn't want to see Christian Casanova, Casanova as heavyweight champion, he does not want to see it be Brian Malonis either. He wants that title back, wants to be the first, well, not the first, but he wants to be a two-time champion and start his second reign. There's the death by elbow. If he gets the pin, he's the new champ. Broken up by Casanova. No Chaotic Wrestling Heavyweight title defended here tonight. Triple threat match. Casanova's already defeated Josh Briggs. He's defeated JT Dunn in their subsequent rematch. He's even defeated the iconic Tommy Dreamer. You heard that clear as day. This is the last time you'll be in my ring. He is trying to win JT Dunn like a bad infection. JT Dunn will not go away. JT Dunn is finding ways to get his hands. Oh, roll throw, victory roll. Yeah, he went for the tombstone and missed it. You got to wonder how many opportunities will JT Dunn get? Oh. As Casanova just planted the former champion. You know, J this is JT's second opportunity. Don't forget, he ran the gauntlet through Killanova to be able to earn a title shot in Lowell just last month. Yes, he did. And now, Casanova knocked off his perch by pro wrestling's savior, the JT Dunn. The master of death by elbow. But look at Malonis, the veteran, very smart. Biding his time, letting these two just wear each other out. Because if one of those men are knocked off wherever they are in that corner, Malonis could quickly 
recover one of them and become the new champion for the fourth time and make history. Easily, and you are 100% right. This is the problem with multi man matches. This is one of those downfalls. Is you get your focus on one of your opponents, the third guy gets a chance to recover if he's smart enough. Doesn't jump into the action right away. Because Brian Lawrence has been around the, the block once or twice. You know, he's been around for a while. So he knows, like you said, take some time, regain that strength, and attack. Look at Malonis. Malonis has had both JT Dunn and Christian Casanova by the throat. Losing strength in numbers right now, there's no way. Oh, no! They've got him, they both have him pinned. Wait, what? Who's Wait, the winner? On. Yeah, who's the winner? Wait a minute. JT Dunn and Christian Casanova have pinned. Uh, Kevin Quinn called for the bell. But I mean, JT just pinned Brian Malonis technically. But Christian Casanova did as well. Yeah, do they have to split the championship? Well, they need you. They need you. Hurry up, hurry up. Get a move on, Ken. I don't know what's going on right now. Both members of this match both beat Brian Malonis. Technically, they both pinned up. Right now, they are trying to make a deciding factor. This, this never really happened. This is a very controversial finish. We're not really sure what the determination is going to be. Referee Kevin Quinn is going to have to make a decision. Does it go to the reigning champion by default, or does it go to JT Dunn? This is similar to a tie, and this, this stuff doesn't really happen in chaotic wrestling. Uh, hold on. There's a, our own is hobbling out here a little bit. curious what this decision is going to be right now. The cameras are trying to get in there and they're trying to get the 411 on what's going on here. Ladies curious and gentlemen, the owner of Chaotic Wrestling, Brian Fury, has just made the following decision. This is not an elimination match. This is a triple threat match. First pin gets the victory. But as the champion was one of the men making the pin, basically the tie goes to the champion. Therefore, still, I'm sorry, still chaotic wrestling, heavyweight champion is Christian Casanova. That is, to me, that's pretty standard. That's a pretty standard call. Christian Casanova holds the championship. You end up in a tie, an absolute tie. With a championship on the line, it has to go to the current champion. You can't award someone for having an equal finish. Unfortunately, it's a wash, and Christian Casanova holds the Cadillac Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. Sad to say, but it's an unfortunate result. And, and the words I just said at ringside were those that came directly from Brian Fury. And, and everybody knows my friendship with JT Dunn. To see him looking at me, with, with such disdain in his eye and such disappointment, but I, I, I didn't make the decision. I mean, both he, I mean, Fury said it best. You know, it, it's almost like in baseball, Ty goes to the runner. Casanova able to get the pin and uh, he retains the championship like here I said, tonight. I had said to before, like, it's one of those things where like, it's like a watch, you know what I mean? The, the championships and the, the balance, you have three men in on, you know, going for the heavyweight championship. One guy's down, both people do it. The, those two people get the same pin, it's a walk. Has to go back to the person who's holding it to begin with. Yeah, it and sucks and it happens extremely rarely, but it's an unfortunate truth. Had JT been able to, uh, you know, somehow get Casanova off of the pin attempt, then JT would be the new champion, but yeah. Uh, very disappointing for JT Dunn. Christian Casanova retains the title in his fifth title defense. Not to see what hangs in the balance. We know that AG is waiting in the wings. We do. You know, he won the chaotic countdown. Not sure when that match is going to take place, but. Talk about a relaxed guy. He's got I'm a lot sorry. to focus on. And you can see 
It wasn't my call. It, I'm trying to con still trying to I know. convince myself. I know. He's really upset. I know. A Anthony Green has a lot to focus on right now. He has a marriage coming up with two beautiful women. He does have that chance at the Category of the Heavyweight Championship. Either way, we have a lot to come. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got to wrap this up. Yeah. Rich Palladio and Julian Star. Good night, everybody. Thank you, what do we got here? The loser's table? <laughs> yeah, why don't you just pull up a seat and join me? Oh, thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. Ooh, let me, uh, heard you got screwed over tonight, too. Yeah, just a little bit. Not really in a good mood. But I hear you're about to start fighting the guys here. That's a thing. Yeah, you're damn right. Remember when you used to be uh, top of the food chain, JT? work tonight. You boys, successful. All of us top talents. That's how we do it. Yo, one time for the oh, culture, culture, baby. baby. Excuse, me, baby. Hey. Excuse me. I just oh. want to have a moment of your time. Just ask you a question. Oh, who is this? Charlie Caruso? Kyla Braxton? Wow. I'm actually Lisa Lena, the new backstage interviewer. The who the who? Ah. Girl, you know who we are? We're the freaking culture. We run this place and you don't interrupt us in the middle of a toast. You know what happened to the last three people that did that? Exactly. Nobody else does. What do you want? I just wanted to ask you about your title defense and what you think about it. I don't think nothing about my title defense. I go out there and I put on right. for the culture. How about that? Well, I what just wanted to know your thoughts on? about your upcoming oh, title man. defense, this July girl. 19th in Lowell, Massachusetts, against former WWE superstar Carlito. Ooh. Oh, okay. Well, Carlito? I don't know nobody named Carlito. Al Pacino? No, no. And you see that Al Pacino? Oh, Carlito's way. Oh, okay. Oh, I see that movie. That was good. Carlos Colon, yeah, you know, Carlito's Colon, he used to spit in the face of those. Yo, the, the, the apple guy. Oh, the apple, the apple guy. guy. No. You yeah. face the apple guy? Really? Yeah, you bring my name. Hey, okay, 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 ready? Here, here it is, here it is. <laughs> Carlito, you don't know nothing about that culture. We've been putting in that work here. We've been throwing it down here with anybody Back. that gets in the way. Back. This right here is for you, Carlito. I'll sip this and I'll spit in your face if you come step to me. One time, <laughs> time for, for the, the culture. 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 Oh. Yeah, this is good. Hey, you I don't like this, but I'll drink whatever.